Now, Maimonides uh, encourages us to describe God in the negative. Um, he, he tells us that describing God in the positive um, puts us in a situation that we are likely to make a lot of mistakes and we are likely to have wrong perception of um, who God is. Um, <clears throat> he says, he says negative attributes, um, negative attributes of God are true attributes. They do not include any incorrect notions or any def def deficiency, whatever, in reference to God. While positive att attributes imply polytheism and are inadequate. So here is the thing that he tries to explain. Uh, this uh, approach comes from the understanding that there is a lot that we don't know about God. Um, and there is a lot that is almost impossible for us to understand about God because our intellectual capacity is not, um, we don't have the intellectual capacity to comprehend some of the things about God and the universe and time and all these things. And so he says, because of that, if we start describing God in the positive, we are likely to make a lot of mistakes because then we are not taking into consideration uh, that number one, we, we can't understand some things because we don't have that knowledge. And number two, we don't have the mental capacity or intellectual capacity to comprehend some of the very critical things about God. So he says it's safer for us to describe God in the, in the negative. And here is a, so he says when we describe God in the positive, we are also likely to run into the risk of being very imaginative. And uh, by being very imaginative, we are likely to move away from science and logic. And, and I think that's what has happened over the, the, the centuries or millennia, that we, we humans, especially when it comes to religion, we've decided to do the positive description of God. And by so doing, we've ended up being very imaginative. And by being very imaginative, we've created these religions that today, when you look at them, they are so removed from science. They are so removed from science. Uh, because we've created this fantasy and, uh, and, and, and imaginative uh, realities regarding especially God and our existence. So he says, the risk of describing God in the positive is that we are likely to become so imaginative and by so doing we go further away from religion, which should, not from religion, from science. And for him, science is like the core, should be the core of religion. Science and philosophy, according to Maimonides, should be or was supposed to be the core of religion. So he says, uh, negative attributes, however, are those which are necessary, direct, necessary to direct the mind to the truths which must be believed concerning God. For, on the other hand, they do not imply any plurality or other, they convey to man the highest possible knowledge of God. So, Underline the highest possible knowledge of God is like um, appreciating that we can never have full understanding of God. Um, but when we go the route of negative, that guides us to go into the, to get the possible understanding. Even though we'll never have full understanding, we are not running the risk of being imaginative and creating fantasies and, and things that are imaginary. We are just created in our own imaginations, but you are like, likely to still remain within the realm of logic and science, even though we, we still don't. Um, um. Now, they, but there's something he says, which I find, found very, very, very important. He says, it will now be clear to you that every time you establish by proof the negation of one thing in reference to God, you become more perfect, while every additional positive assertion you follow your imagination and recede from the true knowledge of God. So it's not just, um, it's, it's not just about describing God using uh, negatives, not really. It's also about using negative to discover God, which means you prove negatives. You prove negative. You don't just say by, with words that, yeah, God is not this, God is, no, no, no. It's about proving those negatives that is most important. In fact, he says, you must be careful in what you, neg ne you negative. To negative by proof, not by mere words. So it should be, we are, we are describing God using negatives, but 
those are proofs. We prove them through logic and science. It shouldn't be just mere words that God is not that, God is not that. No, no, no. It should be we've interrogated this through the science we have and the knowledge we have and philosophy and we think God cannot be that. And then we move. So we need to prove those. We shouldn't just uh, use words that are negative. For each time you are certain by proof that a certain thing, belief to exist in the creator must be neg neg negative. You have undoubtedly come one, one step nearer to the knowledge of God. That every time you find a negative and you prove it to be a negative about God, that means you are one step closer to the knowledge of God. Um, yeah, so the idea of describing God using negatives seems to be very important to Maimonides. And um, I see why it's very important. It made a lot of sense to me. And he told me maybe this is the root cause of religion today being so removed from science to a large extent. And maybe not all religions. I don't know every religion that's out there. I'm not very conversant with each one. But by and large, you will agree that most religions uh, feel like, in fact, we've reached a point where people think that religion and science are like separate, like they are mutually exclusive and they, they cannot be brought together. And that's this the entire book is about showing us that in fact, religion, eh, the core of it is science and philosophy. And now it's, it's told us what makes religion move away from uh, science and philosophy is this positive description of God and the universe and the things that are metaphysics in nature. Um, yeah.